Guys, we continue here in Hollywood Life in the movie Grave, and I have here one of the main actors, Steve Wilco, next to me. How are you today? Good. How are you doing? You're looking great. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me a little bit more about your role. I'm very interested in about it. My role is Jack Truby. I'm the owner of uh, everything in Vegas, so I'm basically the owner of a bunch of like huge nightclubs, and I'm the character who basically leads or tempts the main character Max into temptation down the path of decadence by bringing him down into the underbelly of Las Vegas and and what happens when you do that how do you feel about that role it's a great role i you know i i love playing all kinds of roles but playing it's not a bad guy but it's kind of like the devil it's like the 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 the, the, the I'm uh, seducing the main character into my world. It's always fun because um, it gives me license to do something that I'm, I'm, I'm not allowed to or don't want to do in real life. Um, but, you know, it's, it's basically, I get to like, to, uh, to play bad guys. There's nothing more fun than that. <laughs> you were surprised when the director gave you the role? I'm sorry? You were surprised when the director gave you the role? Um, I don't know if I was surprised. I I I felt really good when I met with him and when I read with him, and I can I can feel that in the, that they liked me in the room. So I was pleasantly. Su I, it was a, it was a good way to close the deal. I was happy, but I, I had a good feeling about it. Steve, I wanted to do something. Every time I see your movies, and I was thinking you was Russian, but you're actually Latin. How you trick people like that? <laughs> um, it's the forces of nature. Um, I'm uh, I'm from Venezuela. I'm a half-breed. My father was Canadian of English descent, and so I probably look more like his side of the family than my mother's side of the family, who is Latina. Nice. That's nice. So tell me a little bit more about the movie. What do you think about it? It's a great film. You know, it's, it's got a great message. It's uh, inspirational. Uh, great actors. Uh, you know, uh, Mauricio Mendoza and I have been friends for a long time, and we finally get to work together. Rene Alvarado is terrific, um, so it's it's just got a great cast, uh, great story, great production. I'm very I'm very happy to be part of this. How do you like this place? It's amazing. It's huge. It is. It's like being in a in a castle. I mean, at, you know, the, you, you can film like you know all kinds of movies in this place. So so I think it's terrific. It's fun. I've never been here actually. I've never come here, you know, to to party. It's just like this is my first time here. So. <laughs> Tell me something. Which one was your your favorite character in movies that you've done all these years? My favorite. Uh, I have several. Um, I would have to. I'll I'll make it quick. Uh, uh, JD in American Me is definitely one that I love to do. Uh, El Gringo in La Hora Cero, which is an amazing Venezuelan film. The Black Rider in Libertador, which just came out last year, and also I got to play. Michael in this great film Night Eyes, where I get to play a, a like a, it's a, like a psycho killer. So that was actually a lot of fun, and I just did that recently. Awesome! Oh my gosh, you've done so much. When I know you had to go back and set, we're going to check it out a little bit. The last movie you done, one the last one, because you done so many. But <laughs> can you tell us a little bit more? Yes, that would be Night Eyes. Uh, I just uh, recently, last month, not last month, a couple months ago, I went to Amsterdam. To, uh, for the uh, premiere of it. The director is Dutch, David Kocheret, excellent director, only 25 years old. Um, wow. It's amazing. It looks like a like an early Roman Polanski film, and I got to play a psycho killer, so we were able, they flew us to Amsterdam for the premiere because the Dutch people were very proud of this young talent. Oh, my gosh. Let's go and check it out. said that I could learn how to control these out of body experiences. What are you doing here? I think I deserve a chance to talk to you. I want you to leave me alone. Unfortunately, she died before she was able to explain anything else. I think I had a blackout 
on my way home from work. Is everything okay? Did anything happen? I really don't know. Didn't Dr. Bloom warn you about your serious mental issues? Still on your mind, isn't it? What? Think, Linda, think. <laughs> you think that all of this really happened? Hello? You were lonely and scared. And there he was, right out of the blue, your very own Prince Charming. You're crazy. What's behind that door? Sweetheart, it happened only in your mind. Paul will tell you he was never here today. There's nothing there, Linda. What do you want from me? Amazing movie, I love it, great job. Bueno, Steve, I know you have to go. Can you tell me where we can follow your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter? Uh, Facebook, my name, uh, Instagram, I think it's gringo1964. Uh, Twitter is Steve Wilcox, two, at, let me start over. Twitter is at Steve Wilcox 2001. Awesome, thank you so much. Can you say hi to Hollywood Live? Hello, Hollywood Live. Thank you so much, and let's continue here with more Hollywood Live. tell you something. Life is tough and it's mean and it doesn't care about your feelings and it doesn't worry about being fair. So if you want something, you get up and you take it. <laughs> <laughs>